Hello everyone and welcome to Sweet Talk with Ben. On today's Sweet Talk we're going to be looking at how to create a proposal package from your estimate. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing in order to create a proposal you want to make sure you have your estimate ready. So we'll go ahead and open one up that I've been working in here. Now that I have all of my costs and related information entered into this estimate I want to put together a professional proposal or bid package in order to submit to my client. So we'll want to make sure that we go to the reports tab here at the top of the page and then you'll notice the different reports ribbons. We're going to be focusing on the proposal wizard here. So let's go ahead and launch that. Now launching the proposal wizard is going to give you a step-by-step -step directional module in order to walk you through how to create the proposal. We'll see here in the first introduction page of the proposal wizard, we get to choose which template set we would like to create our proposal from. Let's go ahead and just click on the residential template today. As we proceed through it, we'll see that it, all of our contact information and project information from the project details that we entered in when we first created the project populates here as well. And this information will be pulled directly into the proposal, saving you a lot of time. We also provide you with three basic layouts, uh, depending on which form of proposals you, you generally like to use. You get to choose any one of those, and we've also provided you with three different custom templates that you can tailor and make your own as well. So we're just going to stick with the basic general template here. We'll click Next. We could go ahead and enter in any scope of work or special conditions here. And these as well will also populate within the proposal. Same goes for our base price information here. We have a few more options as to how we actually want to present that base price information and how it relates to the markups. If we want to include any dimensions within the proposal. And then how we want to present our project totals information. So in the project totals portion of the proposal wizard, you see we have a few options as to how we would like to present our company overhead and margin, for instance. Uh, you can include it as a separate line item or you can go ahead and prorate that into the different categories uh, that'll evenly allocate that amount throughout the other items and categories that you have within the proposal we also have options as to how we want to include and present the total cost any notes that we have as well as some other options relating to any of your items including items with no estimated value and so on after this we'll just go ahead and click finish here to generate that proposal All right, and now that our proposal has opened up, we'll see where we have a letterhead entered in here as well as some of the other company information that we have as well. All the blue information that we see specifically here within the proposal has been pulled directly from that contact information, the project details information that we included. Now, just like other Word documents and other contracts within Construction Suite, if you want to make some changes here, you certainly can. So if we wanted to eliminate some of the spacing here, you do have that option as well. You can change the font color, any bolding, anything like that. We see here where more of our contact information for Alice Gorey, uh, for our client, as well as our company information, all that appears here as well, as w in addition to the scope of work, special conditions, and that base price information. As we scroll down, we see the remaining um, project totals information associated with the proposal, and all the way down to the very bottom, we'll notice that we have a form where we can do our acceptance of agreement. As always, you certainly can feel free to tailor this to meet your specific need, include and append any other contracts, documents, anything that you need like that. Everything uh, that you need is readily available to you in order to present a professional looking proposal package to your client in just a matter of seconds. So that concludes today's sweet talk. If you like what you see, I encourage you to take a look at our other videos that we have available to you. And as always, I'm Ben. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.